Hello everybody and welcome to the watch channel. Today we are taking a look at this beauty which is the Pagani Design PD1753 which is a homage to the Tissot PRX. Now if anybody's not already coined it I'm going to call it and I can refer to this model as the PDRX. So essentially uh, it's the, like I say, the Tissot PRX. It is an automatic Seiko NH35A powered watch and uh, is really, really nice. I love these retro watches with the integrated bracelets. Now, to be honest, the bracelet on this is very similar to some of the other models, in particular, very similar to the um, uh, Royal Oak homage, which I did a couple of videos back. But uh, let's take a quick look at it and see what you think. Uh, if you do have any questions though, please do put them in the comment section and I will come back to you. And if you do like the content, then please do consider subscribing. Okay, so here we have the PD1753 from Pagani Design. As you can see, it is essentially a homage to the Tissot PRX, and in this case, the Paramatic 80 is probably the most appropriate reference because it's the automatic. In terms of pricing, you're looking at $180 there or thereabouts for the Pagani against the Tissot version, which sits somewhere between $900 to $1,000. Starting with the case dimensions, you're looking at 40 mils of diameter, 45 mils from top lug to bottom lug, and 12 mils thickness. Here's some footage on the wrist for you. Now, just for reference, my wrist size is seven and a quarter inches, so not particularly large, not particularly small, uh, but as you can see, it fits very, very nicely and is well proportioned. I'll put some more footage up for you here, just showing the sides of the case and the bracelet in a little bit more detail and a closer look at it on the wrist. But as you can see, very, very nice angular sort of retro look about this watch. Like I say that integrated bracelet is really cool and I love the styling of it. A common complaint with some of the budget watch uh, bracelets is that they are a little bit sharp. But you can see this does have quite nice angular finishing or beveling on the sides of the bracelet. That's not to say in between the links are sharp, but I haven't found the watch to be particularly uncomfortable when I've been wearing it. And I think the finishing for the price point is really, really good. Case finishing on the watch is really, really nice. As you can see there, you do have some clean brushing on the tops uh, of the, uh, the watch bezel. And you can also see there high polish, which is a nice contrast. You do have a screwing crown there, which is signed and uh, provides the watch with 100 meters water resistance. Covering the matte black dial is a sapphire crystal. Now the marketing materials don't state this, but I'm pretty sure it has anti-reflective coating on it. Uh, you also there have uh, the white date window as well. Dial printing, hand finishing, so on and so forth, are uh, well in excess of what you should be expecting from a watch at this price point. So uh, top marks for Pagani there. Uh, in terms of the movement, you've got the Seiko NH35A. A uh, fairly uh, pedestrian movement in terms of finishing, but what it doesn't have in looks, it makes up for in reliability. So 21,000 BPH movement and has an accuracy there or thereabouts of uh, 40 seconds a day. The only negative, and it's the common complaint that I have with Pagani's, is the loom, which is just uh, non-existent. Uh, it starts off very bright, but 10 seconds later it's gone. So Pagani, if you're listening, please add a loom and you've got knockout watches across the park. Anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed the review. Uh, if you do have any comments, again, just put them in the comment section and I will come back to you. Other than that, Merry Christmas guys, have a wonderful holiday and I will see you in a video shortly.